Howdy friends, Tadas here with Insomniac Next Door. I'm recording this video because I've decided to remove my amalgam or silver uh, fillings that I got in the United States. And uh, as time went by here, uh, re researching and exploring various things, I realized this has been one of the most stupid decisions that I've allowed myself uh, being talked into by an American dentist. And... Uh, I have my I have a mouthful of them. I mean it's 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 amazing. I have like four here and probably three uh, here. So a total of seven silver fillings. And uh, you know if you if you get them in the United States, they're fifty fifty percent uh, mercury. And the dog basically talked me into it because he said, hey, "Don't worry, it's inactivated mercury. It doesn't leach. It doesn't vape." Uh, but uh, there's plenty of research and plenty of experiments out there that show this is nothing close to the truth and in fact mercury does get into your system uh, by, by inhaling the, the toxic vapor it gets into your, uh, into your bloodstream and it can do a, a massive amount of damage uh, over time call me crazy whatever I've, I've been through such hell that I don't care anymore I know I don't want to have any toxic materials in my mouth and what really pushed me over the edge uh, with the with, uh, decision, so to speak, after I got my genetic testing done. And I found out I have these uh, various gene variations in CBS, COMPT, MTHFR, that uh, they all affect your methylation process, basically your, your ability to detox. And my uh, polymorphisms show that I am an extremely slow uh, methylator. Uh, and uh, detoxer. So I have, I, I'm in that small group uh, of people, uh, you know, according to the statistics, that actually will uh, collect uh, and store toxic metals like mercury in my body. So, guess what? I this is that's all I needed to hear. I, I've been suspecting this stupid thing for for years now, and I just I just never. Really, uh, you know, uh, I, I, it's it's stupid. I should I should have read my research. I should have re I read the books now. I did my research, and it's a completely idiotic thing that I've waited all these years, especially after suspecting all these mystery conditions. So if you're watching this for the first time, I've had five years of insomnia, what they call adrenal fatigue, gut issues, probably some sort of dis dysbiosis or candidas H. pylori for fact they got diagnosed. Lyme's disease at some point in the past that I wasn't diagnosed with, uh, various food sensitivities, heat at night, cold at night, thyroid issues. I mean, just an amazing amount of uh, things that seem to slowly creep up on me out of the blue. And I'm leading a very healthy life overall, so that's what surprised me. I'm like, I'm meditating in my Qigong, you know, I eat healthy, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm active, I'm a happy guy overall, but it just knocked me out. And it started really with lower back pain, you know, burning lower back pain, which is the first symptom of adrenal fatigue. And uh, in Chinese medicine, it's called yin deficiency. And uh, it built up to, you know, really nasty insomnia once I moved to a colder climate here in Eastern Europe. And uh, it, then it, it, it spiraled into all kinds of really, you know, nasty, weird conditions that I keep the doctors grabbing their heads on you know, pointing towards psychiatrist's office that, uh, want to, that want to put me on some sort of anti-psychotic drugs, you know, because they think there's, I'm, I'm making this all up, but they're, they're idiots, and I've learned, I've, I've realized this by now, that you have to find very qualified doctors to diagnose these things. Nobody's diagnosed. I'm, in fact, I'm also going uh, the, the day after tomorrow to a, a specialized clinic in a different town to get my uh, mercury toxicity check, checked out, as well as different elements and all other heavy metals. So there will be, uh, you know, blood tests, uh, uh, urine tests, and also a hair sample. So I'm going to get that done and see if I can actually prove myself that there is some uh, mercury toxicity going on. But uh, whatever the, the test actually even shows, I don't care. I'm getting those things removed. Uh, because uh, I really found enough people with crazy conditions like me, unexplained things, that I have gotten uh, incredibly uh, incredible results by getting those amalgams removed. Amalgams, so however you call it, right? Removed. And some, uh, what makes me kind of worried, but there's also reports that your immune system can actually freak out because 
you're going to upset whatever the balance the system is there, your body has already uh, you know is, is, is finding itself in that it's keeping a main, uh, maintaining it's going to upset that, that, that fine balance and uh, some people report really uh, uh, report nasty headaches, even more fatigue, even more insomnia. Looking forward to that, right? And uh, and uh, well, some 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 report all kinds of neurological and you know immune issues. So I hope I can avoid all that. I found somebody that's supposed to take them out safely. You know, look up online how to safe amalgam removals. If you're watching this, you have insomnia and so on, you're, you definitely want to check out, you know, if you have amalgams, uh, amalgams and uh, consider them removing. But make, make, it an educated, uh, uh, make it an educated choice, not a fear-based choice. The reason I actually uh, refused to get, get them in the United States because I went to one clinic that was way more expensive and they scared the heck out of me. Don't be an idiot. You can't have these metal, uh, silver fillings. They're gonna, they're gonna ruin your life. And I, you know, I, I, I looked at it as scare tactics. And another dentist that I went to, my usual one, said it's definitely scare tactics. Don't worry about it. These things are safe. They will last you longer. If you go meditate in a cave for ten years, you'll come out. Your, your fillings will still be there. Nice, huh? Anyways, and once I wind everything back, I realized that uh, most of my issues started. Uh, slowly creeping up on me after I got additional uh, fillings. So I don't know if I, you want to see my mouth, but you probably won't see it, man. I have some on the bottom, and I have a ton oh. on top. You see it? So, anyways, I'm going to get them removed and report to you in probably increments of few days and so on to see how, let you know how I'm doing because I know. A lot of people out there uh, want to, uh, you know, are considering uh, this done and are interested in, uh, in, in different reactions. So, wish me luck and uh, I'll report to you how I do. Sleep well or someday you will, as I always say, right? Eventually we'll either drop dead or we'll find a solution. And I think I'm close to it. So, I'll report uh, when I know something. Bye for now.